combustible dust can be a problem in a lot of different industries. Food and beverage industry, pharmaceuticals, uh, chemical, and, and many others, a lot of wood processing. Any carbon-based dust, and sometimes even plastics and metals, if they're in dust form, they're susceptible to explosions. Explosion suppression systems have to be very fast in order to do their job. From the time an explosion starts, and the, a tiny spark or whatever the ignition source is, will light the suspended fuel, that suspended dust in the air. There will be a fireball that starts to grow and the pressure wave coming out of it as well. We use a standard pressure detector to monitor the explosions, coupled with a very fast controller, and we're taking a reading off of that pressure detector 4,000 times per second. Within a millisecond, when we see a pressure rise, we can make a decision of whether or not that is an actual explosion and react to it by firing off one of our output devices, a suppressant container or closing different isolation barriers. We have to be very fast and work within milliseconds to prevent the explosion from spreading or creating an overpressure condition. FIGHT continually improves our explosion protection solutions through new product development. We do a lot of testing in our remote testing facility to understand the science behind explosions and we can then create the products that best control and protect people against those explosions. Well, the, the risk is absolutely real, and when you look to some of these uh, events that have occurred in the past, these are, these are human beings. These are people who, who've lost their life, who will never get to go back home to their family. And, uh, you know, for us, that's unacceptable and it's completely avoidable. It's our passion here. It's, it's our obligation to make sure that uh, events like this are mitigated to the best of our ability. We employ some of the best engineers and scientists, I believe, in all of the world, and they are constantly working to try to to make these incremental improvements that may not seem like much from a business standpoint, but it makes the product better, it makes the product more reliable, and at the end of the day, it will help to save lives.